Hello friends, this is Abhishek Agrawal here and it is a second tutorial of the particular series where I will be showing you how to use power copy and user feature command in Katia B5. I hope you have seen my first video where I have created a wireframe model and in this particular tutorial I will be performing some set of operation on one particular edge over here and I will show you how to replicate this set of operation for other edges also. So in that case you don't need to repeat again and again the same step for the different parts. So what exactly we are going to do here, we will be trying to convert this wireframe model into a roll cage of a car and to do that we have to focus on one particular edge, let's say at this edge. Now we will start with our operation, first we have to select a sweep command over here, select the edge and give a radius of 1 mm to the sweep command. Make sure to select a profile type of circle and the subtype of center and radius, so click OK. Now the next thing would be to create a sphere at both ends, to do that select a sphere command over here and right click on the center field to create an end point for the center of the sphere and we have to give a radius of 1 mm with a hold sphere command option over here, so click ok. Now repeat the same step for this end also, again select a sphere command, right click on the center to create an end point of the curve and give a radius of 1 mm with a hold diameter specification. So click OK. Now in order to delete the extra uh, sphere which is inside the sweep curve over here, we have to create two planes at the endpoints. Now to do that, go to plane definition over here and select a plane type of normal to curve and we have to select a curve and to create a point we have to right click on it and to select a create endpoint and click on the curve. So the plane has been created on the end point, so click OK. Repeat the same step for this end also, again go to plane definition, select normal to curve plane type, select the curve and create an end point at this side, so click OK. So here we completed with our plane, now in order to remove the extra sphere which is inside the sweep curve we have to select a split command over here, our element to cut would be sphere 1 and cutting element would be plane 1. Now we have to repeat the same operation at this end also. So again go to split command, select our element to cut as a sphere 2 this time and cutting element would be plane 2. But here you have to click on other side button to get remain with the outer edge of the sphere. So then click OK. Now as you can see uh, the two spheres and the sweep are different entity. To make them a single entity we will select a join command over here and we will select split 1, split 2 and sweep profile and make them a single entity. So click OK. Now we have completed with the set of operation. In my next tutorial I will show you how to how to use this join operation in power copy command and make the same profile for the other edges also. So keep watching my video, thank you very much.